Hey, so I'm out here in Santa Monica. I'm having a great day today. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it's all the fog's out, so it's protecting me, isn't it? <laughs> no one can see me, it's too foggy. It's brilliant, and I've had a couple of pints. So, anyway, I'm just walking down to the pier, you know, to see if I can see some fishermen talk about Fukushima. And uh, last time I did, I found people, you know, and they talked about it. I recorded it, I lost the bloody recordings, you know. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, do you know what? I'm really, I'm really enjoying making YouTube films, going to locations, you know. I, I, I really think, you know, that in some ways I just need to take this situation and turn it into something amazing, you know. Where, like, I'm, a, I'm in this amazing place here. I'm in California, right? I'm living in LA. Obviously, I love Santa Monica, Venice Beach, and uh, the place where I live, Watts, in LA. Um, but, you know, I could go to Joshua Tree, you know, I could go to all these places, California, make films about gang stalking, you know, show how positive I am, you know, and how excited I am about it, which is true. No, it just is. I think, you know, when you're being gang stalked and then you're in a bad mood as well, it's really dangerous. And um, what you need to do is really look after yourself when that's happening. Don't do anything like commit suicide because well, what's going on in your head, I think, is that you're thinking my whole life is going to be like this, but it just isn't. You know, that's the danger. That's, I think that's the thing that makes me like feel bad about myself. It's when I think it's going to go on forever, but it just doesn't, you know. And it's, as much in my control as it is in theirs, you know. Because if I wake up and I get in the shower and I start doing things, I have a good um, uh, positive opinion of myself. And when you have that, it's very hard to um, uh, bring down, you know. So, so that's what you got to do, you know. When I was when I was younger, and I lived in uh, I lived in a caravan park in Bury St Edmunds, you know. And while I was living there, I started experimenting a little bit with cold showers. Um, I basically said that I should have three three cold showers a week, and I thought it would toughen me up and um, make me more sort of human, you know. And I, d I honestly didn't didn't really notice anything at the time, but uh, looking back on it uh, and watching other YouTube films about that, I realised there is something in it, and I can't say that I've been doing it recently, but there's something about getting in the shower, you know, getting yourself clean, putting some nice clean clothes on, going out and doing something that just gets you in this unshakable, unharassable kind of mood. You know, where there's no point, and the harassers, when they harass you, and they see they have no effect, you know, you're probably harassing them, actually, when you're doing that, you know. It's all about moods, you know, and I think it's got a lot to do with the morning. I think the morning is more important than people realise, you know. Because sometimes I wake up, and the first thing that's in my mind is negative. You know, and the whole day is shit when that happens. But if I wake up, you know, I sort myself out, you know, have a bit of uh, cannabis or something, jump in the shower, and then think, what am I doing today? Let's do something. Let's go and make a film. Right, that's what I'm doing now, you know, and I'm loving it. I've been saying this for years, you know, because I used to make films, comedy films on the YouTube as well, you know. And I used to absolutely love doing it. You know, if you're a TI, get a camera and start making a film you know because you'll make yourself feel a lot better there's so many other ti's it's unbelievable you know they're in england they're in the usa they're everywhere they're in europe france spain you know you name it don't worry about it so i think a lot of this gang stalking business about is about keeping you inside and uh, not letting you live your life. You're kind of like a prisoner, because I have been, you know. 
we're prisoners in our own home. We know we can go outside, we're going to get hurt, you know, we're going to get harassed. So, you basically don't, don't do it, you know. Remember, these harassers, like, they get paid for it as well. When you go out and you get harassed, we're robbing, um, you know, the Illuminati, we're robbing them. If, if they harass you and don't achieve anything from it, you are definitely doing a, ma doing a massive robbery on the Illuminati, you know, and I'll encourage you to keep it up, keep in touch with other people, you know, and don't commit suicide, don't hurt yourself, because that, you know, big yourself up, you know. Right, we're now like approaching the pier, you know. I've talked about Fukushima before in posts, and, um, you know, it's obvious like Fukushima is like affecting um, the beach of California, which we're on now, you know. Right at the other side of the Pacific Ocean is Fukushima, and it's leaking a massive amounts of radioactive water every day into the Pacific. And, um, you know, the fishing ain't great down here anymore. Santa Monica, you know, it's been go it's actually been like reducing for the same amount of time that Fukushima has been going, so let's see if we can find someone. There's no one fishing down there, believably. Yeah, cause, probably because it's a waste of time. Yeah. See, so, a few guys up here. See if there's any luck. It's hard to find people who fish here every day, you know, who, li who actually live in Santa Monica. If it's just tourists, they, they ain't gonna know, you know. Hey man, how you doing? Yeah, do you fish here a lot, man? You don't? You're just not here visiting, is it? Cool, man. Hey man, how you doing? No fish today? Okay. So I don't know, I mean, I don't know if it's anything to do with Fukushima, probably not, but like the weather's really bad, there's no fishermen down here, so...